Today I'll be doing a little bit of a test. Over here I have my two black kings and we'll get back to them in just a moment. But first we'll need two cards selected. So as I riffle my thumb down the corner of this pack, just say stop somewhere. Right there. Okay, so we'll flip over this top portion, face up. And the first face down card that we come to will be your first selection. So that's the first selection and we'll do exactly the same thing again in order to find your second selection. So just say stop right over there. Okay, so one more time. First face down card is going to be your second selection. So now we have two cards face down on the table and we need the spectator to select just one of them. Now it really doesn't matter which one they choose, so let's say they just go for this one over here. So this is going to be the selection. Now what are we going to do with the other card? Well, I'm going to use this as a prediction, a freely selected prediction. So we'll leave that face down and we'll take a look at the selection. The selection is the Ten of Diamonds. Now this is where the two kings come into play. We'll take the ten and we'll leave it face down in between the two kings. So now we have the King of Spades, the selection, the Ten of Diamonds, and the King of Clubs. Now we'll square these up and we'll cut them into the centre of the deck. Now I'll spread them out on the table so that you can see them at all times. Now hopefully, if this prediction is correct, it should be the soulmate of the selection, the Ten of Diamonds. So over here we should have the Ten of Hearts, right? Well, we do indeed have the Four of Spades. That's a little bit disappointing because ideally I'd be able to change the Four of Spades into the Ten of Hearts, but it's actually against the laws of magic to alter your prediction once it's been seen by the spectator, or by anyone for that matter. So instead of altering the prediction, I'm going to have to change the selection, the Ten of Diamonds, to perfectly match the Four of Spades, so it's going to have to be the Four of Clubs. That's a little idea I've been playing around with, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment, and also subscribe if you haven't already. So. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all again next time.